Hello, trading has closed on June 27th, 2024. As always, we'll do our disclaimer first, go over our calls, and then make some predictions. It's my plan for tomorrow, which is Friday, June 28th, 2024. Please remember, I can be completely wrong. Any trade you make should be made at your own risk. Today we called for the pattern with the early high. Here it is. Tomorrow should have the early low. This is a review of what we said. Um, we had a great setup for a short and we didn't hit the target. And I said we were coming to a favorable time on the calendar. And the longer we went without dropping, the less anxious I was to go short. Once again, we closed essentially unchanged, 0.09%. And whenever we close unchanged, I just repeat my prediction. We're vulnerable to dropping, but the longer we go without dropping, the less interested I am in the short side. We had a few signals today from EJT. Early on, we got an ultimate sell signal. We rallied after the signal, but the signal just gives a target, not an entry. And then we had a big drop satisfying the ultimate sell. We had this rally later on. EJT said it was false. There was an ultimate buy signal. Uh, we'll often get more than this, but we don't really have to. That's plenty enough to satisfy. When it was going up, MJT said there was also a lower target, and that's already printed. When it printed, we said this was a false move in price, so it would retrace, and that's already happened. We have a wall into the close. You know I don't like these. A lot of times it's a panic trade of retail customers, and if that's what it is, it'll get reversed early tomorrow by gapping under this low, but there's a major economic report coming out tomorrow, and so all bets are off about what happens here. Even if it is panic trading, I don't have any good way to predict the response to the report. Could turn out to be right, could be completely wrong. Well, here was our DeMarc account. Over a week ago, we had bar 13 finishing early, and bar 13, that's bar 13 of the sequential, and a number 13 for the combo in alignment with each other. And we said, when this works, it can be powerful signal. Now, it means the market's overextended. When the market's overextended, it can correct in terms of price, which didn't happen or correct in terms of time, which did. So we got the signal. We essentially were unchanged for over a week. So it's no longer based on that signal overextended. But now we have bar 13, not finishing early, no fudging. You still can count this as bar 13 of combo in addition to bar 13 of sequential. So that's a new signal. So we're overextended by DeMarc's work and the commonest things are to correct in terms of time or correct in terms of, of price. Of course, it doesn't always work. It can fail. It can, it can recycle, but those are the commonest things. Well, tomorrow's pattern has the early low, which doesn't tell us where we open. Today's pattern neither rallied to the high of day nor dropped in a straight line, which it should do. The time for that pattern runs out as tomorrow opens. So I'm looking for a gap in the prompt move outside of today's range. I expect this either to gap and promptly take out the high or a gap and promptly take out today's low. The personal consumption expenditure report comes out before tomorrow's open. It's an inflation gauge. It can move the market in ways I can't predict with a sufficient degree of accuracy. 
when these reports come out, I'm usually standing on the sidelines. Today saw bar 13, the final bar of DeMarc's daily sequential cell signal. In addition, the timing system of a friend of mine has today as a possible change in trend. There's a wall into the close, and that's often reversed at tomorrow's open, and we stopped right at 61% retrace the drop from the high. Here's, um, that's not it. Here's a 61.8% retrace. I mean, I can count this, but count looks awfully forced to me. If that were all I had, I wouldn't do anything, but at least there is a count. The moves down from the high seem impulsive, although the rally since the high look overlapping and corrective. If it weren't for the calendar, if it weren't for the calendar, I probably would lean short here. However, the week before Independence Day is historically bullish, and we still have a futures price of 55.88 we haven't seen in cash. Because of that, I'm going to be leery of shorting the response to the report, regardless of what that response is. My trading style is to minimize losses rather than to maximize wins. I'm willing to miss a trade if the risk is too high, and I really can explain a move in either direction here. It's a great opportunity for a top if we start dropping. But the longer we go without dropping, the missed opportunity is a bullish pattern. And until that's resolved, I'm keeping my powder dry. So tomorrow has the really low. We're looking for a gap opening and a prompt move outside of today's range. It could be a top, but I need more evidence than this. And if the call for a top fails, it's going to fail in grand style. And that's today's call.